This is Bill from Awesome Engines. Oh, golly day. I just turned it off. No, I didn't. I thought I turned the video off. Uh, this is uh, Bobby Kalalala. It's his 454 small block uh, Pro Street engine. Uh, we just pulled a ton of jet out of it, and we went from 679 or 675. Now we got five or 695, and uh, it's still going a little fat up top. So we're not quite there yet. It should be 700, but we're so close it's ridiculous. The uh, the engine's smooth, clean. Uh, this carburetor is just really, really fat. We're probably going to have to pull some high speed air bleed out of it because the idle. Uh, the EGTs are up on the idle, so I have to open up the air bleeds a little bit on the just the idle fuel to uh, cool it off. But it's showing me that I need to actually take some high-speed air bleed out of it. No, I need to add more air bleed in it because it's just too fat once it gets revved up with these big heads. Other than that, here's the motor. Uh, it's 454. It's got a 1050 uh, QFT on it. It's got the AFR 245 no push rod pinch motor or heads. Two 125 intake valve, 716 push rods, uh, solid roller, 688 lift, and uh, it's got a uh, World Products Merlin block raise cam, 139 I think it is, and uh, we didn't have to notch the rods or anything. The Stroker scat rods went right in, the Eagle cranks fit perfect, all internally balanced, MSD distributor, and the new Titan manifold. We're really trying to get 700 out of this thing. Uh, we're going to play around a little bit more with a little jet and a little air bleed and see if we can't crack this 700. Other than that, see you later. And, Bobby, I hope you like it. We're going to let you go.